calculus, find the maximum speed of an object. And here we have this problem that was on a recent test of my students. I don't think any of my seven students got this one right. I want you to go ahead and work this problem out, see if you can get it right. By the way, this is a calculator problem. And so get your calculator out, see if you can solve it, then restart the video, see if you get it right. Okay, an object moving along the line has a velocity v of t equals t cosine t minus natural logarithm of quantity t plus 2 where t is between 0 and 10. The object achieves its maximum speed when t is approximately and so you have one of these five answer choices. So what you can do is graph this function and see where the maximum, you're going to have some function when you graph it, it's going to have some maximum speed, okay? And so you're going to go find what the maximum is. So let's go, and where you find where that is, that's going to be one of these x values. So now we can just go to our calculator. And so uh, we go here, put in um, x times cosine x. And one thing that is crucial to notice is that we are in radians, this mode here, minus the natural logarithm, control ADX, we have x plus 2. So we used x instead of t, so, and we are interested between Um, 0 and 10. And just to, and here we have a, a values with kind of relative maximum, relative maximum. And so just to look at this, this looks like it is going to be our correct answer. So let's go ahead and, and do this. Uh, menu. We'll say we could trace we could trace it, or yeah, we'll just trace it. Graph trace. So we just come here. There's a minimum. So it looks like it's about x equals 6.4. And according to that, we would see uh, 6.4, and that would be our answer. But if you chose this answer, you would be 100% wrong. Okay, you were tricked. Calculus teachers out there, if you see this video, can you please tell me how you can teach this to you? I've been teaching this so many ways. And the concept here is speed equals the absolute value of velocity. That means when we look at this graph, we have a maximum here of 4.23, but look at this thing going down here below, okay, below negative 7, whatever. Anyway, so let's go look at our menu. I'm going to expand the table or the, the window view. There we go. Window settings. I'm going to go to Y minimum and just go less than that. I'll say negative 15. I'm not sure that'll get it. Press that. Yeah, so now we're going to trace down here. I'm going to use the analyzed graph, do the minimum. So we go lower bound. So 9.54, we have a minimum velocity, which is the maximum speed because our, our sp speed, our max speed
equals the absolute value of our velocity, which is going to be 11.9. So that is going to be our maximum speed. And where does that maximum speed occur? At x equals 9.54 at Again, calculus teachers out there, tell me, I, I try to, people, sh when you see a problem like this, I hope you should know that the test writer is probably trying to do something to trick you, something this easy. If there's something you, you can tell me, other teachers, to show me how you can have your students so they won't miss this, anyway. Good luck, and thanks for viewing.